When sketching curves, an asymptote is a line that is not part of the graph, but it is a line that the graph will approach and get closer and closer to, but never touch. There are three kinds of asymptotes. First is a vertical asymptote. The second kind is horizontal. And the third kind is a slant asymptote. A vertical asymptote occurs in the graph of f of x equals x plus 1 over x minus 2 at x equals 2. It's a line that's technically not part of the graph of f of x equals x plus 1 over x minus 2, but it's a line that the graph will get closer and closer to from each side, but never quite touch. Here's another function that has a vertical asymptotes. It actually has two. There's a vertical asymptote at x equals 2 and x equals negative 2. And these are imaginary lines on the graph that the, gra that the graph, again, will get closer and closer to, yet never actually touch. Horizontal asymptotes can also occur in functions. This function has a horizontal asymptote at the line y equals 3. The graph will get closer and closer to it as it goes to infinity and closer and closer to it as it goes to negative infinity, yet never reach a y value of 3. There is no point on this graph that has the form some number comma 3. It gets closer and closer to it, but never touches it. There are, there are x values that would have a y coordinate of 2.99 and x coordinates that would have a y value of 2.9999, but none that will ever reach 3. Here's an example of a function that has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Notice that unlike vertical asymptotes, the function can actually cross through the horizontal asymptote, but as the graph goes to infinity and negative infinity, the function will get closer and closer to the asymptote, which in this case is y equals 0, but never touch it. Third kind of asymptote that, occur, that can occur is called a slant asymptote. This function has a slant asymptote that looks like this. Slant asymptotes are in the form y equals mx plus b. They have a slope. And again, the graph gets closer and closer to these asymptotes, yet never touch it. A second example of a slant asymptote is pictured here, whereas the graph goes to positive infinity, it gets closer and closer in this way and the negative infinity gets closer and closer here. This dotted line represents the slant asymptote. And again, slant asymptotes can be represented as a linear equation in the form y equals mx plus b.